What's up guys, it's your boy Gang. Welcome back to another art video. In this video, we're going to be continuing our journey. In Fyodor, we're going to be taming up the Androsarcos. Um, first, I had to get this red drop. Those drops are actually pretty cool. I like how they look. They're different than, you know, the other um, maps or whatever. So, let's just take what this has in here. What's that? Mammoth Saddle. Uh, okay, let's just take those. And, um... Let's go about looking to tame the Androsarcus. Um, from what I understand, they take honey to be tamed, and it's kind of like taming an Equios, which I've never really tamed one of those. Um, so it's going to be interesting. So let's go ahead and hunt for these creatures and see where we can find them in terms of location and stuff like that. All right, so I'm at roughly 61.24, and... Um, there are two Androsarcuses there. There are a few different spots on the map that they're, they're located at. Um, I know that they're, like I said, a passive team like the Equios, where you have to feed it and, you know, try to ride it or whatever. Um, so I'm going to test it out. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to see how, you know, how I can how I can actually work this. So let me, let me get squared away and um, let's get to testing. Alright, so there are a few items over here, like I said. Um, coordinates again is 59.324.5. So anything within that region. So, they say it is, I believe it's honey that's used. It's supposed to drop the honey on the floor, blah, blah, blah. And then it's supposed to, you know, pick it up. And then you jump on it and you tame it. So. I'm guessing, I, I think it might be an aggressive creature, even though it's a passive team, which means that you might need Gilly. And I am hungry again. All right, so let's do, let's just try this. Let's, let's drop the honey on the ground and see what happens. Oh, okay, so that's how I'm supposed to do it. All right, so I three it on the floor. Where is this guy? Hello? Oh, he's all the way freaking over there. Okay. So let me... Can I pick this back up? No, I can't. Can I? Let's put this back in the hot bar. Let's try that once more. Where is he? I don't want to be snuck up on by this guy because he seems pretty aggressive, I guess. I don't know. Oh, he's over there. Let's. All right, so I threw the honey at it. And he ate it. So I'm guessing I can try sneaking up behind him, which is. Okay, so he is now aggressive on me. Let's see what's going to happen. Where did he go? Can I ride him? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Can I, can I get on you? How does it work? How does it work? There we go. Okay. So now you hit Y to ride him and I'm holding down. Wait, is he going to eat me? Yep. Okay. So basically you're supposed to like... Whatever direction it tells you to hold down on, you do it. And that do, that helps with the taming effectiveness or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. So I'm trying to see if that's really how it's going to work here. Okay, so he kicked me off. So clearly I wasn't doing it the correct way, which is fine. So let's run away again and um, try this again. All right, so here's what I found. On the dino are the, the Androsarcos, Androsarcos, whatever you want to call it. On console, on Xbox, you use the left joystick. So whenever it points, whenever you see that arrow comes up, you point the joystick to that direction, and once it goes green, you're good. When it goes red, it 
takes away from the team ineffectiveness and it will actually kick you off. So do your best to get it on the green constantly and that should work and it did for me as you're going to see in the, the, the next part of this clip here. So that's basically how you do it. The left directional joystick point in the direction that the arrow shows you. Once it goes green, that means it worked. Yes. All right, so I've been messing around with this dude for quite a bit. Um, learned a few things. So online, if you put the push the right joystick in, it actually enables turret mode. Left trigger fires. Um, if you do RB, it gives you like a first person mode. If you push the right joystick back in, come out of turret mode, you can actually look around in here. There's like markings on the wall and stuff like that, which is, you know, it doesn't look too bad or whatever. Um, or you're back for more. Okay. All right, let's clear that guy. Yeah. So pushing the right joystick in enables or disables turret mode. If you push the left joystick forward and push, and, um, push it in, he starts running. Now, in a sprint, if you turn basically the opposite direction like you saw me do a while ago, it enables the drift. Now, the drift has a cooldown, as you can see. So that left um, icon on the bottom, that's the drift. The middle one is um, as for the speed boost, and the other one to the right is ammunition, as you can tell. So speed boost, this is how speed boosts work. Let's go ahead now. So you start running, and you hold down the right joystick and let it go. Then the speed boost starts. Then you press it once more, or hold it down once more, gives you another speed boost. Hold it down once more again, it gives you the, the third speed boost right there. So that's basically how you do it. Push, push and hold the right joystick in release, and it gives you that push off. Let's go ahead and try it again, just to... All right, you can take your poop, it's fine. Yeah, so basically... Hold it down, let go. Right, let's charge it up actually and when he's doing his charge as you can see he can run through rock and trees and stuff like that that doesn't actually stop him which makes sense you know it's and the, the more he runs is the faster he gets so as you can see the speed actually changed so let me go ahead and do a drift right here really quickly oh that's a nice drift okay so again if you're running and you hold down the right joystick and let it go it gives you the speed boost which that's really cool so recap um, you can drift by, you know, when you're at speed or when you're running and make a drastic turn to the left or right, it will drift you in that direction. Once you're in the drift and it comes out of the drift, it actually gives you a temporary speed boost, which works well to keep you up to speed, I guess. Um, and that's, that's, you know, that's one of the functionalities. Basic uh, other functionalities, you have a bite and you have a back kick when you're not in turret mode. Next thing we could take a look at is the, how this dude functions in water. Um, basically, he has a, a, quite a unique ability. So we're underwater now. Let's get close to like, let's just do it here. If you hold the right joystick in, as you can see, uh, it's not a good example. Let's, let's press A to release it. Get him out of turn. Um, all right. If we hold it down now, you see that that other icon apply. It ki it gives you gravity in the water. So as you can see, he's now running on the the wat the floor of the water basically. Um, yeah, you can actually go into turret mode here and shoot. So you can shoot on the water. So that is actually a good. This dude is acting like a like a submarine basically right now. Um, and you just hit A, and it actually releases it. So that's the basic functionality. One of the good things with this guy as well is you don't need a, a saddle to ride him. The saddle just gives you armor and that additional turret mode. And um, yeah, that's basically it. These dudes are actually cool. There's one ability I could not get to work, which is drifting in turret mode. Um, I know on PC, if you do A or B while drifting, double tap A or, a or D, I should say, it drifts. We're not using a keyboard on Xbox. I'm using a controller. I, st I haven't been able to get it to work. To work like consistently it occasionally it works so what what i'm saying is they, they have a feature where if you're running with turret mode on you're able to do a, you know press double tap a or double tap d while turning and it drips if you're using a keyboard but on xbox i haven't been able to get it working with the controller so 
I'll keep looking out for that. So this is that's the video on the Andrew Sarkos. If you did like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on, please go ahead and subscribe. If you want to be notified every time I post a video, hit the bell beside the subscribe button. If you have any tips, comments, or suggestions, please go ahead and leave them below. And I'll get back to each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys again for watching. And I do appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving. Thank you.